This is the final vault for Stefan Boletsky. Father and coach Usten Boletsky looking on. Is it possible this gymnast really overshot his mark and slammed into the judges' table? Or is this just some kind of special effects hocus pocus? I've got the answer to that aerobatic mystery, plus answers on a couple other puzzlers that you guys are curious about. Like this video that claims a man actually did a 360 around a horse's neck, this picture that wants us to believe this building really exists, and this picture claiming the snake really has a smiley face emoji on its skin. I've got all that plus a whole bunch of other stuff, so sit back, order a pizza like Tiffany and Kaylin do, and get ready to test your brains. Hey guys, Bill here. I probably don't have to tell you this, but you know, one of the most popular events at the Olympics are always the gymnastics. Athletes do the most amazing things in these events, and like anything in sports, there are a lot of mishaps, or what some people like to call fails. For the most part, I think a lot of these accidents are real, but there are some that I'm not too sure about, like this video. Whoa. Oh. Ah. I've never seen a springboard break like that. There will be a deduction on the The way. video was sent in by Jawad Zenow. Jawad wrote, hello, Bill. Do you think this is real or just a BFF as in big fat fake? Jawad, you know, when I look at this video, I don't see anything manipulated about it. But then again, you know, these days you can never tell. So let's check it out. Taking a closer look at the video, we see it was posted by a YouTube channel called Kantakala. In the description it says, and I quote, This actually happened at a gymnasium during the 25th Annual Gymnastics Championship. To prove this, the poster suggests we look at the video around the 14 second mark to verify this is indeed that event. Why Stefan loses control can be seen right here. Just as he comes off the springboard, it looks like the springboard breaks apart. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Luckily, Stefan does appear like he was not injured in the accident. Wow, if this is real, this has to be one of the biggest gymnastic fails Ever. So what do you guys think? You think we're looking at the real deal here or maybe we're being, you know, subjected to some kind of hoax or even worse? Tell you what you can do. You can let me know what your opinion is by voting up here or if that's not working, you can just leave me an answer down in the comment section. And if neither one of those works for you because you're like, you know, watching from Mars or something like that, well, then just go ahead and shout it out so all the Martians know what your real feelings are here. All right, you ready? And Go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to make up their minds, what do you say we take a look at this week's mystery video? I don't know what to call this video other than ghost workout. It was sent in by GG Springer. Now, to be honest, I have no idea what's really going on here, and I have no way to examine it. So, if you have some information and you do know what's going on in this video for real, then leave us some information in the comment section. Okay, now that we know the free workout equipment down in the park is like haunted 24-7, what do you say we get out this and find out what the answer is in our big gymnastics fail video? You think that guy really got launched into the judge's table because of a broken springboard? Or because of somebody's broken imagination? <laughs> All right, and I have the official answer. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. The official answer is 100% not any doubts whatsoever. Fake. 
As it turns out, this elaborate fake is nothing more than an advertisement for Craftsman Tools. According to the website Splendad.com, the ad was cooked up by the Young and Rubicon ad agency. Whoa. Oh. The point they wanted to make is this would have never happened if Craftsman Tools were used to assemble the springboard correctly. As we can see here, a man with a green box of bad tools tries to hide his kit and leave the area. At the very end of the original video posted on Splendad, we see and hear this. Not the official tools of gymnastics. The official tools of NASCAR. Craftsman at Sears. My favorite comment on this one came from Jacqueline Fortune. Uh, she wrote, he didn't collect a medal, but I'm sure he did collect some air miles. Our next entry is this odd little video. Watch what happens. The video was sent in by Max Hazy, who wrote, I couldn't figure it out. Real or fake? Max, I think what's going on here is this is a guy trying to break in a horse, but I think the horse is actually breaking the guy in. But I agree with you. I mean, how can somebody actually do a 360 degree flip around a horse's neck like that? Let's check it out. I'm looking at the video in slow motion now. Everything looks normal starting out, but I don't see how this could possibly happen. Let's look again. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think we got a real stunt rider on our hands or do you think we're looking at maybe a Project One from somebody's special effects class? Hey, don't laugh. Remember the eagle that swooped in and stole the baby video? Well, that was fake and it was from a special effects class. See what I mean? Go ahead, give me your votes up here. Answer it out in the comment section or just shout it out. I will get out this and we'll see what we got on our hands here. We got a, got a real cowboy or maybe some kind of evil sidewinder trying to trick us. All right, uh, and the official answer is, wow, this thing is actually turns out to be real. We couldn't track down the original video, but the only way this could be fake is if we could find some evidence of digital alteration. Like maybe they cut out the guy from the video and spun his body around and, you know, and then matched it back together. But there is absolutely not one pixel of evidence to prove that. So I think what it all comes down to is what Joe Jace wrote on Reddit. He said, I'd rather be lucky than good. And in this case, Joe, I agree. <laughs> Our next submission was suggested by Jonathan Burgers, who wrote, could this be real or is this just a BFF? As in big fat fake. Jonathan, I think we're all well aware that there is some pretty crazy architecture in this world. Like this one sent in by Derek Robinson and this upside down house sent in by Gabe. So I don't see any reason why this office building couldn't be real. Okay, so go ahead, leave me your votes. Answers down in the comment section or shout it out. And then while you're doing that, I'm gonna be looking for this answer. Okay, I found it, it's right here. I got the official answer on that crazy building. Let's see what we got going on here. I mean, can you imagine working in a building like that? I mean, and now that I think about it, what would it be like to take the elevator to the top floor? That's gotta be a little bit strange. <laughs> anyway, well, guess what? We don't have to worry about that because the official answer is, you ready? Think you got it right? Okay, I hope you did because the official answer is fake. Thanks to Amar on my Facebook page, we now know this is the work of a fanciful photographer named Victor Enrich. In an article published by Vice News, Victor is described as a Spanish photographer who likes to use Photoshop to alter everyday buildings into stuff like this, and this, and even this. You can see more of his work on his website, which I will leave a link to in the comment section. Our last entry today is this mind-bending picture. It was sent in by Destroyer Alex Six, who wrote, 
Does this snake really have an emoji on its skin? Alex, it seems like maybe we've been down this road before because maybe what we're looking at here has to do with that thing that goes on in our brain called pareidolia. That's that phenomenon where our brains like to see things that, well, just aren't there, like this, this, and even this. Okay, here's how I want you to vote on this one. If you think that marking on the snake is natural, in other words, it was born there or it just appeared on his skin naturally, then you're gonna vote real. If on the other hand, you think somebody painted that on there or they used Photoshop or some kind of tricky thing like that, then I want you to vote fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have a smoking gun answer, you can always vote unknown. You ready? Go ahead and vote up here. Answers down here, shout it out. And while you're doing that, I'll see what we got here. Ready? Hopefully it's gonna put a emoji on our faces like, cause we're right. <laughs> but then again, we could. Unknown. Thanks to Luna Anderson on Facebook, we now know what we're looking at here is a ball python. As it turns out, these level-tempered snakes are known to develop natural emoji-type patterns on their bodies. But as far as this picture goes, before we can call it real, we have to figure out whether it's this version, this version, or this version. Maybe we should have just examined this shark rock instead. Is that a real rock that somebody painted to look like a shark? Or is that just something that somebody put the whole thing in there using some kind of computer wizardry? Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. So, you know, if you guys wanna click away, you can do that. Unless you wanna see my favorite fake of the week, which just might happen to be the best part of the show, so. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. And now for my favorite fake of the week. Jennifer sent in this video and well, it claims to be a real mermaid sighting. Okay guys, now first of all, I'm gonna really stick it out on the line here and say, you know what? Mermaids just don't look like that. And secondly, haven't I heard that screaming from another video already? Like uh, maybe this one? Good try guys, but the shaky camera doesn't fool us. That's just a bowl of BFF stew. See you next time. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.